Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get a look back at Senior Night Boys Basketball and an interview with Tweed McPhee and her trip to IGTA State. Plus, you'll get an inside look at the 2020 musical, The Adams Family. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Aiden Kramer. And I'm Cole Others. March is Best Buddies Month, and again, Inside the Tribe would like to highlight a different Best Buddies pair each week during this month. Today, we have Braden McAuley and his Best Buddy, Reagan Perry. Braden, what is your favorite thing about Best Buddies? My favorite thing about Best Buddies is being with my friend, Reagan Perry, and shooting basketballs with her shooting, uh, talking with her, and uh, doing homecoming with her. So when, Wednesday, March the 4th is Spread the Word to End the Word Day. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So Spread the Word to End the Word started about 10 years ago to help uh, schools become more inclusive by ending the R word because it's just politically incorrect nowadays. And now we're going to be celebrating by selling bracelets and during lunch. So yeah. Thank you, Rain and Bregan. I'm going to show you a tool for locating the most timely and accurate information. Let's say we want to see what's new with the coronavirus. There's a lot of stories we want the most recent ones. So if you go to Tools, if you click on Any Time, there are lots of options. And you want to click on the past 24 hours so then you can get the most recent information. If you want to make sure that you're getting reliable information, you might want to switch to news. Happy researching! Are you a senior or junior boy with school spirit? You could be this year's Mr. Raider. Pick up an application outside Miss Lamb's room. The winner will be received two free prom tickets. Baseball tryouts are this week, Monday, March 2nd. Varsity only tryouts at 4.30 p.m. in the main gym. On Tuesday, March 3rd, varsity tryouts after school until 5.30. Freshman and sophomore tryouts will be from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday. March 4th, varsity tryouts after school until 5.30 p.m. Freshman and sophomore tryouts will be from 5.30 to 7.30 on Wednesday, March 4th. If weather permits, all levels will be outside after school on March 3rd and 4th. Girls soccer will start on March 2nd at Eastside from 3.30 to 5.30. All girls interested in playing will need to have cleats, shin guards, and warm clothes for outside practice. The practice bus will leave the school around 3.15 by the span room doors. If you have any questions, see Coach Childs or Coach Yoakum. Boys tennis begins March 2nd. See Mr. Moore for information in regards to state dates, schedule, and other important information. Tennis is a non-cut sport. Whether you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, or a senior, we would love to have you on the team. Just make sure to have your gold card by March 2nd. Tennis will help you with endurance, hand-eye coordination, and footwork. Any girls interested in trying out for softball must have a current gold card on the first day of tryouts. Tryouts begin Monday, March 2nd at Eastside in the Performance Building. Juniors and seniors, 3 p.m. to 4.30. Freshmen and sophomores, 4.30 to 6. Then again on Tuesday, March 3rd, in Small Gym, freshmen and sophomores 3 to 4, juniors and seniors 4, 30 to 6. Any questions, please see Coach Menzioni, 122A. Best Buddies will be hosting the Spread the Word for Inclusion campaign next Wednesday, March 4th, during both lunch hours on Wednesday. Best Buddies will be selling bracelets for $1. Bracelets will sell out fast. The Promise of Hope for Prom, dress, prom event will be held on March 6th from 6 to 8 and on March 7th from 9 to noon at the Dream Center Peoria. Summer School 2020 registration forms are now available in student services. Summer School dates are June 2nd through June 25th, Monday through Thursday. Classroom driver's ed and several credit recovery courses are available. The cost is $100 for the first course and $50 for the second course. Military week is March 2nd through March 6th during lunch hours. Various branches of the military will be set up in the cafeteria all week, all week long. They will be available to answer any questions students may have. The Illinois Regional College Fair will be held at Bradley University on Thursday, March 5th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. College and universities scheduled to visit next week include March 3rd, St. Ambrose University at 9.30, March 5th, Upper Iowa University at 9.15, and March 5th, Simpson College at 1.30. There are various other volunteer scholarships and job opportunities available. 
Go to the school website if you're interested. Hey, Cole, do you know what this week's weather's going to be like? I'm not sure. Let's send it over to Mr. Leathers and the Weekly Radio Weather Report. Welcome back to this week's Weekly Radio Weather Report. I'm Cole Leathers. Tonight, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 32. Tomorrow, partly cloudy again with a high of 54. Wednesday, high of 55 with a low of 34. Thursday, you can expect some sun with a high of 52 and a low of 30. Friday with a high of 50. And that's it for this week's Weekly Radio Weather Report. I'm Cole Leathers. Zach and Sam are back with this week's Radio Report. Welcome back to this week's Raider Report. Our first shout out goes to Taylor Fasano for completing the Abe Lincoln Awards 20. Taylor read 20 books in five months and will be now recognized as an Abe Reader through the Association of Illinois School Library Educators and she has earned a field trip to ISU. Congratulations to Madeline Aaron for advancing to the sectionals in the state three point competition. Congratulations to our three wrestlers who competed at state this weekend. Levi Robinson competed in his first state series and represented East Peoria very well. Tristan Westbay completed his second state series. He also represented East Peoria very well and is winning his first match in the state series. Caleb Collins qualified for his first state series. He won his first three matches to make it to finals. Caleb lost a tough championship match. With his strong performances all weekend, Caleb finished second in the state, getting the stand tall on the podium. All wrestled with class and represented EPCHS well at the highest levels. Great job, Raider wrestlers. This has been this week's Raider Report. I'm Zach Willis. And I'm Sam Abbey. Coming up, you'll get a look back at senior night for boys basketball and an interview with Tweed McPhee and her trip to I IDTA State. And you'll get an insight at the 2020 school musical, The Adam Family. I'm here with senior raider at dancer Tweed McPhee, who just recently competed in the IDTA State Dance Competition. So Tweed, how does one qualify for the competition? Okay, only seniors can compete, and I had to get a score of 80 or more at a regional competition. So, tell me a little bit about state. The first day is on Friday, and it's all soloists, and there were 42 soloists, and I had to get top 10 in order to go to day two, and I got 10th place. All right, so how'd you feel going into day two? Pretty nervous. It was kind of weird that I slipped in someone else's pee, but it was, it was, it was good. So, how'd you do? I got sixth place. <laughs> all right, thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah DeVos, and this is David Hidden, and he's going to tell you all about this year's school musical. So, David, what is the musical this year, and what role will you be playing? This year, it is the Addams Family, and I'm going to be Lucas Beinecke, the boyfriend from the normal family. Okay, and what previous roles have you played at EPCHS? Freshman year, I was LeFou in Beauty and the Beast, and sophomore year, I was the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. Okay. And what are you looking forward to most this year? Uh, this year, I'm really looking forward to the adrenaline rush on opening night. It's so warming to see all those opening faces and just getting it all out there for Saturday and Sunday shows. Thank you. Once the favorite of the late game shall ring. Doesn't matter if you're right or left wing. He loved his full disclosure. I'm with Kelsey Griffin, and she's going to tell you about her part in the musical. What is your role in this year's play? I'm an ancestor. Okay. And what's your favorite dance number to perform? I really like When You're in Adams. Trough, another ancestor in this year's musical, and she's going to tell you about her favorite song to sing and why. I love Full Disclosure because it has a lot of really cool harmonies in it. Thank you. I'm with Mr. Moore, Miss Church, and Mrs. Fleming, and they're going to tell you about their roles in the musical. So Mr. Moore, what do you do in this year's musical? I am the director of the musical. I am the director of the musical. Um, so I kind of put everything together for everybody. We have a choreographer, Mrs. Fleming, who does most of the dancing and movement and stuff like that. Miss Church, our music director, she does all the music. And I kind of fill everything else in, in between. And um, how much work really goes into the musical? Because it's definitely unnoticed by some students. A lot. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> several months worth of rehearsals, whether it be singing rehearsals or dancing rehearsals, everything has to be completely memorized before you can really get on stage and do any of it. Okay, and what are you most looking forward to this year um, with the new cast? I think I'm most excited about um, the huge difference from our show last year, Wizard of Oz, going from that to the Adams Family, where it's a completely different vibe and feel. And it's such a funny show. I'm just really excited to have an audience there reacting and laughing like crazy. Th It was senior night at Allison Gymnasium as your Raider boys basketball seniors Sam Abbey, Clayton Bray, Aiden Kramer, Dawson Gill, Jake Up, and Ryan Parker welcome the Washington Panthers to Washington Street in a bid to deny them the Middle Line High Conference title. Aiden Kramer going to get things going here early for the Raiders. Here he ducks in on the post up, gets a nice little feed. He's going to hit the turnaround. That's the next possession. Jade Williams with a strong take to the hole here. Going to finish through the contact and finish the three-point play. And the Raiders were rolling. Washington would lead just by three, 24-21 at halftime. And then halftime brought out the primetime entertainment. The senior Raiderettes of Faith Bavard, Maya Eaton, Lauren Hawkins, Tweed McPhee, Caitlin Sarns, Riley O'Laughlin, and Destiny Stevens Convince their coach, Kaylee George, who's also retiring after this year, to join them for their final performance, and they put on a heck of a show. Next up, it was the cheerleaders' turn, and their seniors, Caitlin Engel, Jenna Crebo, Morgan Cowan, Abigail Egemeyer, Sandra Ganim, Krista Messer, Savannah Morgan, Isabel Rakestraw, and Maya Turk, did not disappoint. The cheerleaders break out the acrobatics. Senior Sandra Ganim going to cap it off here with a round-off double backspring twisty 3 mix 60 to send the crowd into hysterics headed into the second half. Raiders would keep it close thanks to Nick Tornow and Jay Cup. There, Tornow buries the jumper, and he's going to step into the loose ball here and can another jumper. The Tribe was here for it. They were feeling it. Here we're going to see Jay Cup post up strong on the right block. He's going to take the feed from Sam Abbey. He's going to score over the defender. Raiders keep this thing close within two possessions for most of the game. Here we're going to see Jaden Williams step into three. That makes it 43-41 with under two minutes to go. The Panthers would pull away at the free throw line, though, as Dawson Gill sets the final score. Washington wins 53-46. And then it was time for the vice versa dance. Neon Knights, and there was plenty to glow up. Here you see a little cha-cha slide. A little step to the left, slide to the right. The kids were feeling it. We had a dance circle. There was bopping. There was mopping. There was church clapping. We had it all. A big thanks to Revive for a great night at Vice Versa. And finally, kids, have you ever wondered what happens when you go home and the teachers are still there? This is what happens. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, be sure to listen to Sophie Sneblin every day during Raider Hour. They're also on the school's website, ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to Inside the Tribe. I'm Cole Leathers. And I'm Aiden Kramer. From everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a great, great Raider day. day.